Welcome to Wildstar. This is DevSpeak. Disclaimer, and this series is about taking a closer look at Wildstar's gameplay. So let's jump headfirst into one of our biggest features, paths. So everyone picks a path when they create their character. It's part of you. But unlike your race and class, this choice is about how you like to play MMOs. Now don't get me wrong, the game itself has a huge amount of variety. No matter what your path, you'll be getting into all kinds of situations, like going kamikaze rhino on some dastardly pirates, or finding underwater robots in a frozen lake. But paths will consistently give you more of your favorite content. Take my buddy Fedora here. She likes to explore. In other games, she's always trying to scale up mountains, find secret locations, or race me from some farmhouse to some satellite dish. Hell, she turns MMOs into scavenger hunts. In Wildstar, because she picked the explorer path, she has access to that content everywhere. Like placing a beacon on top of this tree, discovering a secret underground tunnel system, or running a time challenge from way up here to way over there. She'll even get actual scavenger hunts. Now Franco here, he likes to know things. Like what's the deal with these giant flowers? Why does their pollen make me float? This is why Franco plays scientist. He's got a little scan bot that can unlock all the answers he seeks. Like, what's the secret purpose of this facility? And how can he arrange these things in just the right way so... Ah, Hidden room. Now me? I just like killing things. And not just everyday things. Big ol' waves of things. Freaking huge weird things. Yeah! Get some! That's why I play Soldier. Soldier gives me experimental weaponry to play with huge holdouts, and super hard boss fights. And then you have settlers, like J.P. Higginbottom. He can literally build buildings all over the place. Things like buff stations, vendors, secret quest givers with rare loot, even shared infrastructure projects. And J.P. Higginbottom loves the attention. You may see him trying to attract you to his campfire. Don't feel special. He gets path XP when you use it. Now when all of us group together, it gets pretty awesome. It's like an old pen and paper adventuring party. Fedora drags us up deadly jump puzzles, Franco tells us a secret backstory, I get the group into huge fights, and JP Higginbottom builds us speeder bikes to ride back into town. Even playing the same path is fun. Explorers can like race each other to the top of the mountain, soldiers make each other's holdouts bigger and more rewarding, even settlers get payoffs for teamwork. I could go on forever about paths, but I gotta run. J.P. Higginbottom just built a bar. And drinks are half off. If you want to know more about anything, give us a shout. As always, the devs are listening.